Welcome back to another video, everyone. I got a new diecast. Yay! And a surprising new weekend in the 4th of July. And yesterday, uh, my brother shot me with a water gun. I can say we don't deserve it. I just got into a huge fight with him. Yeah, because right now I need to tell everyone I'm filming right now. Because they always interrupt me. Alright, so let's get on with it. This has been... This has been an interesting weekend. Well, let's dive right into it, shall we? Um, yeah, I'm, hold on. Disclaimer, I'm thinking of making uh, different type of thumbnails. Uh, comment down below what you recommend to, what, to me for new videos, and it's on mobile. Don't judge me. I'm thinking of getting a PC. Um, but from now it's mobile, so comment down below what thumbnail ideas I can have. So, because I'm experimenting with different ones, so this might this thumbnail might look a lot different to you. So right now, yeah, Kyle Larson won stage one. Larson and Cole Custer were, I think, not the only two to be in this race. Larson won stage two, and Ty Gibbs and Ty Gibbs won the race. Ty Gibbs, um, uh, first of all, he it was a it was a great battle with Kyle Larson for. The, the finish line and then all the way into the finish for the last for the whole last lap it was either Larson or Gibbs. I'm like I have Kyle Larson winning it because they were just neck and neck the whole damn time. I'm like I don't even know who's gonna win. I didn't even know who I was gonna win when they went inside the woods, and Ty Gibbs won. Super kind of happy for him. And Michael Brooks made a short of a uh, Ty Gibbs and um, what's it called. Telling his grandfather that he wants to race in the Cup Series. <laughs> he called Rick Rue Racing. Alright, so yeah. So, that race was over. That race was kind of good. Um, I didn't expect that huge wreck to happen with... Um, how many cars? Landon Castle took a big hit. Went up in the air a little bit. Brandon Brown really feels super bad for him. I, he didn't get injured, but I just felt super bad for him. Run runs a lovable guy. He's a lovable racer. So let's get your let's get your um Hold on, how do you say it? Let's get your your results, the top of team results. Or maybe here I'm not really sure. Ty Gibbs won the race only led five laps, but got five playoff points and good point amounts. And a great deal of points. Uh, Larson finished second, uh, started first, actually. Um, had a pretty good day, won both stages. Josh Berry finished third, started 16th, and climbing the whole day. Austin Hill finished fourth, still looking for that second one of the season. Brandon Jones, fifth. AJ Almanier started 38th and finished sixth. So that's a good job. Almost won the race. This who is it's not that close. Riley Herbst got seventh. Lenora Gregson got 8th, Jeremy Clemens ninth, and Ryan C, who has been struggling so badly this year. But what was his best finish this year? Really like, you know? Finished 8th at Daytona, 10th at Auto Club, but just 36th at Vegas. And he's been getting mostly top 15s for the rest of that, except for Texas, Darlington, and Portland. So he got 35th, 32nd, and 16th. And then his best finish was 8th. No, his best finish was 4th at Talladega. Fourth place finish at Talladega. Struggling, but he's doing good. Preston Partis finished um, 11th. I really haven't heard that name that much this year. Uh, yeah, I know. Uh, Justin Algar, uh, I think he has two wins this season, which is pretty good. Brogar won at Nashville and at Darlington. And you have Josh Balicki, 13th. Started 13th, finished 13th. Andy Lally, 14th, and Alex Obey, 18th. I mean, 15th. And so, why not? Yeah. That is the end of the race. There's no truck scissors from that race. But, yeah. So, now this one, it went all the way from what, what, like 15 laps before the race ended that Tyler Reddick chased out early. And he, they were battling for about how many laps? Like seven laps? And then Chase Elliott uh, just couldn't catch him after that. And 
Tyler Reddy just won the race. <laughs> Man, I'm just having these two bad customers. Right who won that? That was a great day for Brodick. Finally getting his first win. I got excited when he did. My voice is cracked. Yeah, it was Briscoe stage one. And then different change up. It was Blaney. Joey Head finished second round. It was a it was a crazy two stages, but then there's the race, and that's what mattered most. About that. There were, okay, about that out there was I don't think any caution. You had 34, 30, yeah, 34 cars finished the race. That's a lot. I, the only cautions there were was the stages. Yeah, those were the only cautions. So that's what the race finished. It was uh, estimated to end at 5.30. It started at 2, so estimated to end at 5.30. And the race ended at 5.04. That was a whole 26 minutes shorter than where we were supposed to end. And that's crazy. I'm like, wow. That is crazy. Because there was no cautions. There were no restarts. The only restarts were the, the freaking stages. If we didn't have stages, this race could have gone all the way without a caution. So that, that's crazy. The first race, the first race that did not have a wreck. Well, it did, but it did not have, like... A huge, huge crash. Like, someone wrecks so hard they can't get up. Or, or they can't go back on the track. Caution will come out. This one, nothing happened. Now, let's look at your top 15. Um, Tyler Reddick won the, state, won the race. I'm like, I completely felt for the guy after the season. He's had a lot of second places. He finished second five times. First of all, Finished 35th in the Daytona 500. Then just slowly just kept going. Bristol there was horrible. Darlington got second. Then catch Lejano. Phoenix he got third. Coda fifth. He had a good day going. Darlington second. Hey. Yeah. Charlotte sixth. And now Road America is finally winning. I like I've been feeling for Tyler Reddick. Chase Elliott, I already has two wins, so he's looking to go back to bad, but he got dethroned. Uh, Kyle Larson, uh, third. Track has a pretty good day, too, because I uh, finished uh, fourth and fifth. Rosh has stayed fourth, and Daniel Suarez fifth. Chris Buescher got sixth, and yet another top ten performance out of road course. I think he's going to get closer to the win. Austin Cindric seventh, and then, you get, and then you get Michael McDowell, who has also finished well in the road course race at Sonoma. Finished 8th here. Almondinger 9th. I'm surprised. I was showing, I was watching his in car and I thought he's going to blast out the lead. Harvick 10th, which was... he's He needs a win now. The playoffs are going to start in a few races. Blaney 11th. Alex Bowman 12th. Truex, who has not gotten there yet, needs a win now. So does uh, Briscoe. Um, 14th. Cole Custer, who also badly needs a horrible win now, because Cole Custer is not doing good. Those are your top 15 drivers. So how'd you feel about this weekend? I'm gonna, you know how, you know Eric Estep, he, he does the groovy gauge, right? He does the groovy gauge. I'm gonna do that, but it's not called the groovy gauge. It's just the rating of this weekend. So there's terrible Okay, good, and awesome. Road America was good. It was a really, it was really good. Uh, first of all, the Xfinity race was longer than the Cup race, and I didn't think that was possible. <laughs> I didn't think that would ever be possible. Yeah, we worked it out. And so yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. Um, I'm trying to get Wave Two to come out. Um, yeah, also leave your comments. I said them in the beginning, and I'm going to say in the end. Uh, if you, like, for thumbnail ideas, what's your best thumbnail idea? Comment down below. So that's going to be it for this video. Thank you for watching, and have a great day. Goodbye.